Let's get you over to the alert desk right now. All right, a dire situation, uh, Austin, right now in Haiti. They got coordinated gang attacks going yeah. on right The prime minister took off. He's Can't apparently in, in Puerto Rico this morning. Can't get back in. More on this, Austin. Yeah, guys, and the problems just persist. And one of the biggest ones that we've been talking about are those gangs <laughs> there in Haiti who have been releasing thousands of inmates from prisons there in Haiti. And so many folks right here in South Florida with ties to Haiti waking up very concerned this morning about their loved ones. We know that these gangs have also been seizing the international airport there, and they've been fighting with police and soldiers who right now are outnumbered. Now, Haitian leaders right here in South Florida say that they have reached out to the federal government for help. Important to note here, the country, they haven't held elections since 2016. Now, of course, travel to Haiti not being advised right now. I wanted to show you the latest map we have from the State Department that actually shows where Haiti stands in comparison to other countries in the area there. You see no travel advisories around the U.S., but when you push in on Haiti there, you're seeing all of that red with the do not travel advisory. If you go on this map here, you can see it kind of shows the level of where Haiti stands and then you can read even more about where their travel advisory stands right now. You can see a level four do not travel. You may remember this was initially put in place back in July of last year, guys.